Good morning, boys. So today we're going to do two things during your math class. We're going to start with this, the practice. It's just like a little review of what we did yesterday, just reviewing sum and difference. When you finish this, now you have to watch the second video. And we're going to practice the three times table. You already know the zero, the one, and the two times table. Now we're going to learn the three, then the four tomorrow, or maybe until Thursday, and then the five. Okay, you, we have to memorize this by the end of next week, but they are super easy, you're gonna see. So let's do this super fast. This one, it's super easy, but again, I wanna do it with you, like if we were in the school, one by one together. So you can just watch the video all the way to the end of the video and then go and do your Google Slides or what I recommend, if I was you, I would pause the video on each number, go to your Google Slides, do it, then come back, look at number two, pause, go and do it, come back to the video, look at number three. That way is like if we are doing it together, okay? Because here, especially, I want to explain how to do it with the bars. So let's begin with number one. Find the sum of 127 and 63. What do you do when it says the sum? Excellent. The ones that said plus, you are good. So remember, like I told you yesterday, it's hard even for me to do it in my head like this. So what I do, you can get your whiteboard or a post-it or your math notebooks, a paper, a recycling paper. Do it somewhere vertical, okay? Vertical means you put the first number, then the other number down below, and then you can do it the way you know how to do additions and subtractions. Don't do it here on the book, okay? Well, even on Google Slides, it's difficult to do it like that. So. I'm going to write 127, this is what you do on a paper or your whiteboards, and 63 down. Just remember how to write the 63. Remember, in 63, the 3 are the 1s and the 6 are the 10s. This is very important that you don't write it like here. Where is my mouse? It gets lost. Remember, we already practiced this. You cannot write it there because that would need a zero here. And that is 630, not 63. So just remember the place of the numbers is super, super important. So 127 plus 63. This one, I will not count it as a quiz because we are doing it together. But still, yes, I will put a grade. So this is what I told you. I already helped you with the first one. You can pause the video right now. Go and do it in your Google Slides and write your answer. Meanwhile, I erase it. So let's do number two. If you pause the video, if, now, if you are back, well, now you are listening again. And if you didn't pause it, let's just go directly into two. Number two, what is the difference? So when we see the difference, what do we do? Add or subtract. Excellent. The ones that said subtract, add, pat on your back. So the same thing. Even they tell you the little number first and then the big number. Always, when you do a subtraction, and I recommend, so you don't get confused, even when you do an addition, always put the big number first. Even here, they put the little one. You still put the big number first, 908. And down like this, 99. Do you think that's where I need to put the 99? Exactly. The ones that said, no, Miss Money, you are good. It goes here, 90 in the tens, 
nine in the ones. Right, that's very ugly. And now we subtract. So again, go pause the video, do it on your whiteboard, and write your answer on Google Slides. Just the answer. You don't have to write all this. Just write the answer in the rectangle that I put here on Google Slides. For the ones that are not pausing the video, and if you are back, the ones that just paused the video, let's go to number three. The sum of two numbers is 175. So these are the ones that I wanted specially to do with you. Okay, because they start being more tricky. They don't just tell you the two numbers and you add it. No. Here it's like a riddle. Okay. A riddle, it's an adivinanza for the ones that don't know. It's like a riddle, but you don't just guess inventing. You guess thinking. Okay. Sorry for my doggies. They're going to start barking because they hear a dog. <laughs> Bebe, no corazón. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let me close the door. Can I pause the video here? Okay, I cannot pause it, so let's just continue. I don't want to start all over again. Sorry. Imagine this was the real class, and you know that at times they can do that. So let's go to number three we were doing. The sum, that means the addition, the addition of two numbers is 175. We are going to be using these bars a lot in math, and they help you solve the problems, okay? So it says that we have two numbers that if we add them in all, as you can see this line, it says that in all we get 175. That means that's the answer. So what you have to think is that, like they tell you, two numbers equal 175, okay? Here they are telling you that one of those numbers, this one, is 49. That means our first number of the addition is 49. And then the other number, we don't know it. This is what you need to find, okay? So 49 plus what gives you 175? This starts being big boys math, okay? You have to think a lot to do these kind of exercises. But that's why you go to school. And right now, online school. But we can still do our best and learn these things. So how do we find this? Let me erase this so you can see it. It's kind of what I explained yesterday. If it says that this part and this part equals 175, OK, all this from here to here is 175, then what we have to do when they don't give you one of the parts is to the whole part that is 175, let's take away this part that, yes, we know. So if we take it away, do you see that at the line on the top? Yes, I am taking away this part, the 100, and, I mean the 49. That means I will have at the end the answer of the other part, okay? Again, let me raise it and explain it again, because this is something important. Maybe because you're doing it with me right now, you say, oh, yes, I understand, Miss Money. No, but you really have to understand this. So the next time that you see it, I don't have to explain it again. You will say, I remember, I know how to do it. Super easy. Again, we know that this part, until here, that two parts equals 175. So from here to here, if I take away this part, the 49 that we have, let's take it away. That means a subtraction. 
that means I have 175 that equals the two parts. But we take away the part that yes, we know. Take it away. Even they are saying here a sum, okay? But why? Because we need to add the two parts and it equals 175, but we don't have the second part. That's why we end up doing a subtraction, even it says a sum. But don't get confused because it says a sum. The sum is just for you to understand this part, that we don't know one of the parts of the sum, okay? It doesn't mean you are adding these two numbers, no. Again, like I told you here, that two parts is 175. If we take away the part that we know, imagine it's a cake. You eat these 45 pieces from all the 175. We end up with the part that we don't know. That's why the real thing you have to do in this one, even if it's as a sum, it's a subtraction. Okay, so this is what you have to do. And of course, like I told you, in your whiteboards, put it vertical. 175 minus 49. Remember to put it exactly in the same place. And now, yes, you can do it. So, so like in the other two, pause the video right now. Go and do it on your whiteboard, write your answer on Google Slides, and then come back. For the ones that are not passing the video, and if you pass the video and you are back, let's go to number four. Now it says the difference between two numbers. That means, remember, difference is a subtraction, okay? But let's see if it's not a tricky one like the one we just did here, okay? When they tell you that two numbers that you have to subtract, yes, it's a normal difference. But as I can see here in the picture immediately, I know it's a tricky one, okay? Why, boys? For an addition or for a sum, you need the two numbers that you are going to add, and it equals a big answer, the whole, the complete thing, okay? That's why here I know, if they tell me the whole, I know it's not a normal addition like these ones, okay? Because they are not telling me this part and this part. They are not telling me the two parts. So I know it's one of the trickies. Now, for a subtraction, for a difference or a subtraction, you need a big number first, okay? The big number first, that means that complete thing. Then you take away one of the parts, okay? And you end up with the other part. So in this picture, are they telling me the number of the complete thing? Yes or no? No, right? And here it has to be that I'm going to put a C for the complete, and we don't have it. That means this is going to be one of the tricky ones again, okay? I, for To make it clear, again, as subtraction, we would need to have this number that you see has a question mark, and we don't have it. This is the complete in the other. Here, this is the complete number, and we don't have it. So even it says a difference, we're not really going to do a subtraction because we don't know the complete number, okay? That means that if we are not really adding, I mean subtracting, we are adding, kind of, let's see. So here it says, the difference between two numbers is 68. If the smaller number is 153, what is the greater number, okay? So yes, it's exactly what I told you. Here, as you can see, they give you one part, okay? And here in this little part, you can see here is a line to divide, yes? 
and they give you this other part. So if we connect these two parts, it gives you the complete number and that's the one we want to know. Okay, so even here in the problem, it says difference and it's a minus. We are not going to really subtract this. These two numbers, no, we're not going to subtract. Why? Because it's like this one. They tell you that the difference, okay, between two numbers is 68, okay? That means we don't know the big number. In a difference, we need to start with the big number, but we don't know it. So we take away, okay, 68 or 153. What do you think we have to take away? 68 or 153? It's kind of like the one we did at the top. Exactly. It doesn't matter which one we take away right now. We can take away this and it would give us this, but we already know the answer. So here actually it doesn't matter which one you put first, okay? Imagine that I say I take away 153 or 163 and or 68, sorry. And it would equal 68, okay? This is the real subtraction for this, for the difference. But we don't know the big number. We don't know it, okay? That's why actually what we really have to do is an addition. We need to add this part plus this part and look we end up having the complete part from here to here so even this is our difference sentence but we don't know the big number the first one then actually we end up adding the two parts and we are gonna get this one okay Later, I'm going to tell you the rule, but right now you need to understand it with the bars. You need to understand why are we adding if it says a difference. We know a difference is a subtraction, but why are we adding? Again, because we don't know the big first number. So we cannot really subtract. We subtract from where? We cannot subtract. Okay. So right now that I kind of gave you the answer. Today, it's mostly like doing it together. Now you can go and this, do this, but as an addition, again, look at here at the picture. We are adding 153 plus 68. That means the two parts that it equals the whole thing. So on your whiteboard, you write, or a paper, 153 plus 68. Plus here, make your line and go and do it. Pause the video, do it on a paper, write your answer on the Google Slides. Okay, now that I erase it for the ones that are not pausing the video or the ones that already did it and are back, now let's go and do number five. So it says that difference, again, it should be a subtraction when it's a difference. Again, if they tell us the big number and one of the parts of the bars, then yes, we can do a normal difference, a subtraction, okay? If they don't tell us the big number, then we don't do a real subtraction. We do the opposite, an addition. So. The difference between two numbers, okay, is 48. If that greater number is 126, what is the smaller number? So are they telling us the big number? Yes or no? What do you think? I think they are. The greater number 
is 126, what is the smaller number? Okay? So, yes, we do a subtraction. They are telling us that the greater number is 126. Let's do it with a bar so you can see. So, they are telling us, okay, that we have 126. And they are telling us that the difference between two numbers is 48. They are saying that one of the numbers is 48. Okay? Yeah? And they are saying this is one of the numbers. The other is this that we don't know. So that's why they say that if, let me change of color, the difference between this number and this number is, 40, is 48. Okay? So, that's why, yes, we have to add, I mean, subtract, and we get the other part, the other number, okay? So, now just go and do your subtraction. They are asking you, what is the smaller number? That means the other number. So, go and do it. 126 minus 48. And you will get the other number. Okay? Pause the video, go and do it, and then write your answer, and then come back. Okay. For the ones that are back, Let's do number six and we are done. And then we're gonna practice the times table. So here, immediately with the picture, I can see with the bars, I can see what I have to do. Immediately I can see what I have to do. If they tell me the whole number, okay? From here, they are telling you to here is 700. Even without reading, I know just by looking at the bars. Then they tell me that these two parts together is 545, and we don't know this. So like I told you in the other, immediately I know to the 700, the whole, I need to take away these two parts to the 700, and then I will know how much is the other little part, okay? But still, let's read it to make sure that we are correct. The sum of three numbers, that means this, this number plus this plus this is 700. Okay, they are telling you that if we add the three parts, is 700. If the sum of the two numbers is 545, like I told you, these two numbers is 545, what is the third number? So yes, is what I told you. Okay, other way it would be this plus this plus this equals 700, okay? So they are telling you that these two parts, imagine they become one part. They are already telling you that these two parts is 500. 45. So this is the part that we don't know. Okay? Now, again, when you see it like this, maybe you go, oh my God, but how do I know? How will I count from 545 to 700? That's a lot of counting. But remember that if you look at the bars, do you see how the bars help you? Again, is what I explained before. That means that instead of doing a real addition, even if it says a sum, we are not really adding. We know the complete number from here to here is 700. So let's just, to the 700, take away. Imagine you eat all this. 
and you are going to be left with the answer. That means the real thing you have to do is 700. That's the whole thing. And take away the parts that we know, 545. And when you take it out to the 700, you end up with the part that we don't know. So like always, go and do it on your whiteboard or a paper. And now don't come back and watch the video. Okay, we are done. You write it on your Google Slides and we are done. So I let's see in the Google Classroom, in the Meet video, just to make sure everyone is finished because now we are not, we're not really finished. Now we're going to practice the three times tables. So see you in Google Meet.